Today I'm pleased to tell you that the floating pole is back. I have found a way, a very easy way, to place them anywhere. So it works similar to the last pole trick where you build double poles. It only works with double poles. I don't know why, but it works. That's what matters. And then you want to go to our best friend the rug and place that rug as close as you can get the tip of it to the pole. So as close as you can get it. There we go. And then you want to blueprint the two poles and the rug together. Make sure not to get the foundation. But you just press and hold the blueprint, select that, select that, and then create your blueprint. Yeah, you can build these poles anywhere. So if you want to build them up in the air, you can build the place it down on a stash box or a cupboard or anywhere really that's sort of got a, that you could build a rug on. So anywhere that would be grounded. And then yeah, let's just create this blueprint. And then you can remove the rug afterwards, and your poles will be wherever you left them. So you can remove the boxes from underneath it, and you'd have them floating, or you can leave it on the ground sort of has structural supports so just let me just give you a demonstration get rid of those and take out your blueprint there is it. There you go. and you can pretty much build these anywhere that the rug will sit so you can build them really close together let's do one really really close together So you can basically get them touching if you wanted to, or you could even, yeah, let's build one of those ones as well. I could even place them in the grass, say, or on a stash box or a cupboard, and then you can just delete the mats or store them. And there's your poles anywhere. And you can delete the top ones, so if you don't want them that tall. But you have to do two together, so you can delete one out, leave one there. But yeah, that's how it works. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching.